It's everybody in the universe. My name is Sean Myrie, and I'm your host of the Down to Earth Podcast. Going to talk about this subject recently. Dr. Umar Johnson, right? Dr. Umar Johnson. He had an interview with somebody from Toronto, never heard of, and talked to a couple individuals regarding the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef. So they mentioned to Dr. Umar Johnson that they felt disrespected that Kendrick Lamar's song, Not Like Us, disrespected black Canadians, which I don't think so, right? I think that was directed at a lot of different people. The West Coast, very proud of themselves, and that could be to anybody. But then um, they basically got Dr. Umar to repeat these things of uh, what, what they feel that they feel disrespected and they feel a lot of black Americans felt or feel that that song, Not Like Us, was describing or a diss to black Canadians. No, not all of us feel the same. I like the track. Now, a lot of people are emotional from this, very emotional. They use the opportunity to speak with a very inspirational figure like Dr. Umar Johnson to talk about a beef, a hip hop beef, not employment, not discrimination, uh, not black on black crime. They used him for that, like to talk about that. Let's say they used him, but they wanted to express that to him instead of some more important issues drake you're going to talk about drake that the black americans right they feel that way like that song that kendrick lamar made it was made as a diss to drake never heard him saying anything about any beef with Tor Toronto. I never hear him say anything in Not Like Us about Toronto. It's only Toronto people, some Toronto people, getting emotional, right? And thinking it's about, especially about black people, like the black community. Who are these people? He mentioned he had an interview with someone from Toronto, which I don't know, I've never heard of, right? And how they express this to him and how basically he wants Kendrick Lamar to clarify himself if that song was meant to diss black Canadians. No, why do you need him to clarify himself? This is embarrassing, very embarrassing that you're actually talking to this man and instead of uh, talking to this man about a beef when you have the opportunity to talk about bigger things than that and say and basically saying a lot of black Americans feel that this track was directed at Canadians come on what is it what is it? What, 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 what really this is? I know that it's been a big story for the last couple of weeks. And you keep seeing it on the, 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 the blog pages or on Instagram. And they're basically crying, oh, it's on all the blog pages. All the Americans are disrespecting the, the black Canadians. Is it just black Canadians or is it Canadians? Everybody has their opinion. Everybody. Not everybody's going to be nice. Not everybody's going to be nice. But for some reason, there's a, a faction of people who say they're black and from Canada feel it's all about them. 
I swear, even if it was about somebody, it wasn't all about one group. Not like us. He's from Compton, and you know people from California and those areas, they're very prideful of themselves with their sound, right? And it means everybody, not just people from Canada. Even though it's Drake, right? He's from Canada. He says, not like us. Do you remember the pop-out show? They had the weekend in. The weekend was there. Do you remember that the weekend was there? Weekend is from Toronto. Weekend is friends with Kendrick Lamar. So what do you say? He's a black Canadian. Is he a fool? Come on now. You guys sound ridiculous. Yo, everybody got opinions. Listen, there's even the argument of who created hip hop. Jamaicans, uh, uh, Puerto Ricans versus the Americans. K uh, Karis One was speaking about it. Lord Jamar and uh, Tariq Nasheed had differences about it, different opinions clash, and the West Indian Caribbean people are fighting with the American people over this online. So this is like a divide and conquer thing. And all you could say to this man, Dr. Umar Johnson, is we feel hurt and disrespected by the beef, the not like us, and basically made him, not saying made him, but kind of influenced him to go live and put out content basically defending the black Canadians and how he's with us. It's all good, much respect how he's with us and no one could disrespect the black Canadians, which people will disrespect us no matter what. No, everybody has their opinions. You can't control everybody, right? So what's the benefit of this? What is the benefit making Dr. Umar, who was supposed to come here a couple weeks ago, talk about this? Why are you crybabies? Oh, the, the, the song was disrespecting black Canadians. It's disrespecting black Canadians. I never heard that at all, right? And Dr. Umar does not think it is that way that Kendrick really meant that. I don't think so either. Some of Kendrick's biggest fans are from Canada, Toronto. They're from here. Don't forget that. So all these fans, I guess you're a fan, a Drake supporter, right? Very, very emotional. When's the last time you seen Drake do anything for the black community? I know Weekend did. When's the last time you seen Drake do anything for the black community that you're so proud to, to, to basically you're defending Drake be over this beef? Really? Where does this come from? I want to know. Where does this beef, like th this whole energy comes from? Dr. Umar, you need to really come down to earth because sometimes people will speak with people who don't have too much sense. I don't know who these individuals are. Much respect to Dr. Umar, but why would the main thing you bring up, you're talking about a beef, a beef. Not education, maybe you did. Not, not police brutality, not employment. The stuff what the black community needs. And you have somebody who has a big platform to speak on things, talking about this. And he got to repeat it. You know why? Because some people he knows, they don't listen too good. So he had to repeat it. 
he does not think Kendrick Lamar intended to disrespect any black Canadians, especially from Toronto. A lot of you are reaching. Now you're so desperate. I, I don't know how you feel hurt. I don't feel hurt. Not everybody from Toronto is jumping on Drake's bandwagon. Not everybody, yeah, there's haters. Not everybody likes Drake or his music from Toronto. You are taking this too, you're taking it too personal, right? He's mentioned, I've done a review on this whole thing. He mentioned certified, right? Lover boy, certified pedophile. Right? That's a diss. That was deep. He's talking about OVO. He ain't talking about nobody else in Toronto. He's talking about OVO. He's talking about Drake. But you people want to make it into something else. Come on. It's ridiculous and it's very embarrassing. You know why it's embarrassing? Because now you got Dr. Umar, who is speaking for us, not in like respect to him, but we don't have a nobody, nobody to speak for us, but I'm speaking, but nobody to speak for us that you have to get Dr. Umar or influence him in some way to talk about this and call out Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar which Kendrick Lamar will hear this, right? Calling him out to clarify something. This is embarrassing, and you guys should be embarrassed too. Right? Someone like Dr. Umar, a black Pan-Africanist, very influential, he will get the message across but not like us. It's a big track, very popular, and some people are taking it to heart too much. What do you want? You think Dr. Umar is gonna change the minds of all, the, uh, all these black people? Remember, to many, He's a rebel. To many, he tries to he open up the mind. Like, you know, he's speaking of a lot of things, what's unpopular, which I do myself. Only a limited few will really take it in. It's not popular to be educated, to uh, do research, um, with, it's not popular, especially for a black man, to be like Dr. Umar. They're looked on as the, the villain, as like how Malcolm X was, right? Dr. Umar will get the message out there, but will be faced with a lot of backlash because he already got a lot of haters and they're calling him racist and they call him all types of names in the book. But you people from Toronto, whoever you are, wherever he got this interview, the main thing was what you put out there, that the not like us track hurts a lot of black Canadians. A lot of black Canadians probably don't even listen to hip hop. Remember, this is a melting pot. People listen to all different types of music, soca, reggae, and hip hop, R&B music. It's not limited like other places. It's a very multicultural city. But you want the attention, which is not good attention for, for Toronto. It's not good by getting Dr. Umar to talk and speak for you. Why can't you speak for yourself? Speak for yourself because I have no problem with the not like us. He has many other tracks that
that are more dissecting Drake. This one was just a hit. Imagine you're seeing a lot of Americans take that song as a hit to Canadian, black Canadians. Maybe they think it's for all Canadians. I think more it's like that. They're not saying it's for black Canadians. No one came to Drake's defense besides Drake, who's really known. So how could you even, how could you even say that? Like there was no one who came to his defense. No other rapper, so-called big rapper from Toronto, really, really digged in to, 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 to help Drake in any type of way. So talking to Dr. Umar about this is like, a, like somebody crying, crying for help. Listen, everybody has an opinion. But if you make those opinions bother you, something is wrong. Remember, down in America, right, they get more support. Maybe it's true. We, we're not like them. Yeah, not like us. Because no one in the city, in Toronto, hardly unites. When's the, could you ever see all the so-called top rappers be on a stage like that? Could you see that? Will we see that? I'm hoping, maybe, there's a miracle. I've never seen that. There's so much of these so-called top rappers, but no one's doing shows together. Yes, we are not like them. We are not like them. It's just talking. So it's, it's kind of crazy. And like I said, embarrassing that people are talking to this individual, very influential black figure, right? Pan-Africanist, intelligent man that you are telling him a lot of black Canadians feel disrespected. I don't, I think you guys are reaching because you know what he represents. It's a lot of Canadians who feel disrespected. Not, don't target just black Canadians. Because a lot of them do not give two shits about the not like us. Unless you don't have no confidence in yourself, you're going to care about that. Kendrick has a lot of supporters in Toronto. He could come here and he will fill up an arena. So, and you know who will be there? A lot of black people will still be there. Who are the ones who feel disrespected? And why do you feel disrespected? If you're a Drake fan or a stan, okay. You're a Drake fan and a stan. Right? If that's you, that's you. But by going to this man, you brought a big spotlight over here. And it's just, it, the algorithm is going to grow. People are going to talk about it. All these different podcasts, including us, we're already doing it. All these platforms are going to say black Canadians and black Canadian. Come on, man. Turning this back to like a color thing of black on black. It's like black on black. Like black on black crime. That's what you're turning it into. Right? Listen, a lot of the people, and they're not all of them, it's like, not all of them, because I won't say that like how these individuals say black Canadians. A lot of white Canadians, right? They don't even like Drake. They like Kendrick Lamar. A lot of them, not all of them, 
but a lot of them don't like Drake and a lot of them do like Drake am I gonna label all the white uh, people of can Canada they don't like Drake no there's a percentage in everything there's a percentage in everything and it's so sad that Dr. Umar actually used a lot of his energy and he did use a lot of his energy because he was speaking and he was repeating, right? I do not think, like for example, I do not think that Kendrick Lamar meant what he said in regards to black people in Canada. I do not think that Kendrick Lamar meant what he said, right? On the Not Like Us that it was directed to black Canadians. It was just directed at Drake in the beef. Even Dr. Omar doesn't believe that. Let's take that in. Dr. Umar does not even believe that the Not Like Us is directed at black Canadians. And he's an intelligent man. But you, in Canada, right? A black person, whoever you are, you look, you sound stupid and you look stupid because he himself does not believe that. But you in Toronto believe that he may not like us to disrespect only black Canadians, right? And talking about blog, yo, blogs and the internet, if you don't like it, don't watch it come off you have the control to come off of it you put your opinions down expect people to respond and they don't have to respond in your favor dr umar does not believe that kendrick lamar made that song directed at black canadians he made the song in this beef directed at Drake. Listen to the lyrics. Listen to the lyrics. I done a review on this and read the lyrics to not like us. I read the lyrics to not like us. I did not see nothing talking about Toronto. All I heard him saying stuff about uh, Drake and some of the OVO, right? He talked about the OVO and Drake, but you people, or these individuals, making it up to be this black on black. That's what's going on with this Lord Jamar and the, 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 this hip hop thing. Who created hip hop? The same thing. You got West Indian people. Right, you got uh, the, the the generational Americans right fighting over who created hip hop. They're fighting, divide and conquer, as a uh, Dr. Umar was saying. They're fighting on who created it. Uh, Karis one says something, then somebody else says something. Right? Let's be honest. We know there's been some type of rift between black Americans, generational black Americans, and first generation Caribbeans or Africans. There's been that. But, right, now, Canadians, people especially from Toronto, is using this beef, right, to express themselves instead of when you got access to Dr. Umar talking about more pressing issues in the black community in Canada in Toronto we're gonna bring up a beef this is to show you the bullshit that a lot of Toronto people are on 
you can see it in the platforms, what people talk about. They don't talk about anything educational, nothing with sense. We're really, I don't know, man. We're really on a low level. Well, not we, but a lot of you are on a low level of thinking. Because just hear, hear this. Just listen, just listen to what I'm about to say. That they communicated to Dr. Umar about a song that they feel disrespected from a song. Oh, the song, it disrespected us. He, he was talking about black Canadians. <laughs> oh, he's talking about black Canadians. What? I never heard nothing. He didn't say nothing about Jamaicans. He didn't say nothing about West Indians. He didn't say nothing about that. All he's talking about is Drake. And if he really wanted to disrespect somebody, he could have brought up Drake's background, his Jewish background. He did not bring that up. He did not bring that up. You guys just are reaching, right? And you want Dr. Umar to do the dirty work. He's too smart for that. He's too intelligent for that, what you guys are trying to do. That's why he says he does not believe Kendrick was trying to do any type of disrespect to the black community in Toronto or Canada. You people are, are bringing this up, making this story up, right? Man, we already are suffering with this infrastructure. Most artists from Canada especially in the urban music, has to, well, mostly went to America. They all went to, they all went to America and got successful over there. So a lot of Americans do love so-called black Canadians. The Weeknd, Tory Lanez, Party Next Door, yes, Drake, and some others I'm forgetting. They love them. And they know they're Canadian. So one song, one song, I know it's a hit, is going to change all of that. Hey, a lot of black Americans are very intelligent. You think they don't know the boat, like they don't follow things? Not everybody's, you know, in tune, but they, a lot of them know better. They do their research. I never heard the song directed at black Canadians. It, if anything, if you wanted to say there, it was direct, if it was directed at anything Canadian, it was all of Canada. It was all one thing if it was that way. It wasn't, they, they didn't, he didn't single out a community and he wasn't talking about any black Canadians. He was talking about OVO. He was talking about Drake. The man's talking about Drake. And then it's like every so Drake represents the whole black community. He represents the whole black community. When's the last time Drake done anything for the black community? He got a couple artists signed from Toronto, right? And they're not even at a certain level. Drake is very big international pop star. I never seen him. Well, there's nobody on well he can't be on his level but i mean on a certain level that he discovered like how jay-z has kanye west and then they become they branch off and do their own thing big right he done what he can do he represents for toronto many episodes i gave him his flowers and respect for for promoting toronto right but there's a lot of things still that is not right. Still not right, man. Right? Like when it comes to hip hop, you guys are very emotional because people brought up the ghost writing, right? And people are like making fun of Drake 
and you feel that to you. You feel that whatever they say about Drake and disrespect Drake, it's you. No, I never identified myself or even with Drake. I said, yo, Drake, he's representing the six, he's representing Toronto, he's putting in work. But no, never ever do I, de I ever depended on one man from the city to represent all of us. That's just ridiculous shit. Uh, is Drake going on any of your platforms? So far, I haven't seen Drake do any interviews with Canadian urban, whatever, uh, Canadian urban media. He has not done any interviews. Drake is so sensitive that on his Instagram, he limits who could even comment and the only people who could comment are the people in his circle, the people who he feels comfortable to, to comment. That's how sensitive he is. There's a lot of celebrities out there, almost as big as Drake, if not big as Drake, and they don't have no limits on their comments, but he does. That's to show you, and I know everybody else haters, but that's to show you how sensitive he is. And I guess the fans are similar, like Drake. I guess a lot of the fans are similar. That you guys are so sensitive that you got to complain to Dr. Umar. And he does not think it's true. He does not think it's true. He says much respect to Kendrick Lamar. What are you guys saying in Toronto about this? It's pure talk. And a lot of people will villainize and hate on Dr. Umar from Canada. Even though he's repping Toronto and repping Canada, some people are saying, hey, yes, yes, we got Dr. Umar to say something. Because Kendrick Lamar, he will listen to him. But then there's a lot of black people in America who don't like Dr. Umar. They are against him. And then there's people who listen to him, but there's a lot of people against him. And him doing this, he could even risk risk some of his, well, maybe, let me see, will he risk some of his support from America, black Americans? He might, if they're not educated enough. He might do some. But he's saying all of us, which is true, because America was, what they say, Christopher Columbus, discovered in the West Indies, near Jamaica. America was discovered with Christopher Columbus in those parts. So the West Indies, America, and Canada, like he said, North American Africans, we're really all one. We're really all one, separated by labels and names, like slaves, like your slave name. Same thing, right? Different politics, different regions, different slang, right? So they use the Willie Lynch, if you know what Willie Lynch, is to control, divide, and conquer. And Dr. Umar, he's a person who knows all about this. And he does not believe Kendrick Lamar made the song not like us based off of the black Canadians. Why would it be the black Canadians? Drake, he's saying doesn't even, a lot of people don't even consider Drake black, even from Canada, some of the black community. Some of you just jumped on a bandwagon recently. A lot of you people never even liked Drake until he bust in America. A lot of you people are hypocrites, big hypocrites, right? When they were talking about him, about all types of stuff before, he didn't say nothing. He didn't say nothing, right? There's so much to this, but it's very embarrassing what I'm saying. Very embarrassing that you got Dr. Umar speaking about this and you have the opportunity 
to talk about some real issues. If I'm talking to Dr. Umar, the last thing I'm going to bring up is this whole hip hop industry beef. That's, that's not even in my, I'm not even thinking about that. I'm thinking about what can he give me some knowledge and others, how us as a black nation could be better and to be economically independent and built and, and uh, just know some information, some more information that can help us instead of talking about a beef, an industry beef where the powers that be is making money from all these streams. Every day you're hearing about these record-breaking streams. It's like Eminem. You listen to Eminem's album, it's, it's made for cancel culture. He's talking about people, uh, when you have your opinions and it's not popular, how people will cancel you and they will try to block you out even though you're speaking. That's what Eminem's album's about. And he's talking about retarded people, transgenders. He's talking about gay. He's talking about all types of people. So now is he talking about black Canadians too, Eminem? He's talking about black people. He, he put black people in there in, in his uh, album. He talks about uh, people with uh, mental disabilities. You got to read the lyrics. See, when I do reviews, the difference with me and others, right? Because people just listen to the music. Sometimes the sound could distort you. I read the lyrics. That's why, you see, CDs, no longer. Before, you had CDs where you could read the lyrics, the physical copy. So now people are lazy and they just listen to all music on all devices. If you're smart, you can look up the track listing, read the lyrics, and you know what they're saying. The Eminem album, for example, he says a lot of aggressive stuff, but if you are a real hip hop artist, I mean, hip hop connoisseur, you will overstand what he's saying. And I'm, I'm pretty sure with Kendrick Lamar's art too, because I've read his lyrics, right? And overstand his lyrics. And for sure, they're not like us. He's not talking about just, he's not talking about black Canadians. But he does have a track, and it's not the not like us, where he mentions something about Canadian nigga. He does mention something like that. All right? But don't get it twisted. A lot of black Americans love Drake. They love Drake. I've been on Twitter. You can't even, they know the lyrics. You can't even say anything about Drake. So a lot of you have, well, what are you talking about? Black Americans hate, uh, hate uh, Canadian, Canadian blacks because of this, because of this. A lot of them love Drake, right? So the worst thing, and it, it's so dumb, very dumb, right? That you use the opportunity. And I heard that you got an interview by somebody from Canada. I don't know who. I will see. And the main issue on the table was the beef. And now you got Dr. Umar saying he's going to be standing with black Canadians. He stands with us and he warns people no one disrespect us. It's like you're throwing it out there. Like, listen, I expect a lot of responses to that. Everybody has an opinion. You're probably going to have Charleston White, another big character, respond to this. You're going to have a couple other people respond to this and they might say the same thing what I'm saying. He did not say nothing about any black Canadians. I'm sick and tired of this shit from the city, from people from the six. 
this sensitive shit makes us look real weak. Makes us look really weak. You know? I don't understand why these individuals really express this. You could express this, but this is what the main subject, what Dr. Umar took from your conversation to express, to express. He's coming here in October. Me and my brother was supposed to be at an event and interview him actually about this. And I and we will be there in October when he comes. We will be there live in the flesh. And I'm going to let him know if he doesn't know already. Not all, and it's not just black, not all people from Toronto or Canada felt disrespected from that track. Not like us. That could mean anybody. That could be anybody. It's the West Coast, right? It's the West Coast. It's like when Tupac and Biggie had their beef and people was bringing the East and the West Coast in it. And other rappers from those places was claiming, no, they don't have no beef with the East and the West. They didn't have any beef. It was just the individuals and the media was making it out to be in this West Coast and this East Coast thing. The same thing was probably going on right now with this Drake and Kendrick Lamar. It's this Canada versus America. No, because first of all, Drake is half American. He probably has dual citizenship. He's half American. Most of all of his business is done in America. <sighs> this may sound like a rant, but sometimes you gotta give the people the energy so they could overstand what you're saying. Because man, you, you individuals, to me, I don't know about others, but it's embarrassing that we have we have to go our respect to Dr. Umar outside, right? And tell somebody about how they feel instead of expressing it down here to a platform, how you feel. I know you got the opportunity to talk to Dr. Umar. But the first thing you bring up is a beef. A beef. Kendrick Lamar. Americans must be laughing. Because that's all what's going on. A lot of these Americans, I don't blame them. They must be laughing. Because <laughs> I'm laughing. And you're, you're accusing the Americans for being hateful online, that they're, they're making fun of the, the black Canadians. They're making fun of us. They're hurting our feelings. Right? <laughs> they're hurting our feelings. They ain't hurting my feelings. If you're, if you're confident, right? You, and you're on these blog pages, Debate, debate, respond. If you know it's not true, defend yourself or just don't watch it. Don't go on your phone. Don't go on your computer. Just do not watch it. But you can. You cannot. You got to keep going and going and going. People. Subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have a lot of content like this, episodes with some of the Down to Earth family, the D2E family. We have episodes talking about this. 
and it's just ridiculous. Right? I hear ridiculous stuff coming from Americans too, and they're getting some false news sometime, and now we are falling in the same trap. Because I never heard of that. I don't know what you're telling the man. I never heard of us getting disrespected like that. Like, you know, saying it, this song was for all black Canadians. Not like us, it's for all black Canadians. First of all, a big population of Drake's supporters ain't black. Big population of Drake supporters are white and other cultures. It's not just black. So when he when Kendrick Lamar is if it was a diss towards a di a diss like you say, you think he limit he just limit limited? I don't know. You think he just limited to a certain group? No. And like I said, the weekend was in the crowd, the pop out show. He's friends with a Canadian. The weekend is one of the most biggest artists in the world. And he was at the show. So what, he was disrespecting weekend? right in front of him that's his that's that's his friend Kendrick Lamar will come to Toronto and he will have support black and white Man. and the thing about it what's bad if anybody else gets an opportunity to talk to Dr. Umar Johnson, I hope you don't repeat that same thing about black Canadians feeling disrespected from the Not Like Us song. I hope if any of you get an opportunity to speak with him before I do, that you don't repeat saying that because that's not true. Kendrick Lamar was, I don't believe like Dr. Umar, that it was aimed just for black Canadians and that black Americans feel that way that it was just for, for, for us in Canada. People from the West Coast, they have sense in America, California. It was for everybody and not, not like us, how they do their thing, right? Not like us, anybody could have put that out not like us you see what i'm saying so what's all this hoopla and drama about not like us listen it's a great track i like the song it's playing a lot and you know what it's like I, i'm gonna repeat it yes not like us a lot of you toronto people you guys don't like to unite you like just to fight you like beef 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 that's what you think hip-hop's all about is just this this beef business because you see it all the time promoted on all these blogs these beefs from these people who are get, get giving getting credit for being hip-hop artists in toronto all you see what is really getting attention is beefs right more than music make music try to see if you could do something like the, the our american brothers and sisters and do a, a show all together if you're mature try to see if you could do that can you do that i don't think so because i've been saying this for years and everybody has an excuse it's the ops oh it's the ops so we i can't do any shows it's the ops. We hate ourselves. Black Canadians hate ourselves more than ever. Remember, you got Jamaicans, you got Trini, you got black, blacks from all different uh, parts of the Caribbean and Africa, and some Americans. And 
it was always separated down here. People hated on ourselves. Jamaicans don't like Trinidadians, Trinidadians don't like Jamaicans, Guyanese, like all these West Indian islands in Toronto. The people of the first generation, if you're second generation, always talk bad about each other. And now you're crying that this American brother made a song not like us, dis disrespecting, that's what you're saying, disrespecting just the black community. And he, he couldn't say, talk about nothing more, what's more important, like employment, discrimination, education, that's important for the black community in Toronto. You got 300,000 people unemployed in Toronto and the people who are probably at the bottom of the barrel and struggling the worst of all are black or minority people. And you're not talking about that. That's what you need to be talking about. Because Canada acts like there's no racism here and we, are, we have a lot of races lots of races. Dr. Umar is perfect to attack that. And all you're talking about is this fucking beef. Ridiculous. You have Dr. Umar to attack these things and you're talking about this beef. He must be laughing. As much as he's trying to gain a lot of people's respect in Canada. And he's basically calling out his own people. He's calling out his own people in America, saying, no, if you think like that, you're an enemy to him and the Pan Black Pan-African movement, right? Even though he stands on his business, it's gonna create some friction because there's always gonna be those ignorant people who's gonna respond back and, and say something what you all don't wanna hear. But you, everybody has their opinion, but he's good. They're always, you're, gonna, you're not gonna like everything. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Now, a lot of the hip hop community this is what the question should be. Does a lot of the hip hop community, which knows about hip hop and studies hip hop, feel the same way? Do they feel the same way that they got disrespected? One of the godfathers of, well, the godfather of hip hop in Canada, I was told by my brethren, my friend, that right? He gave the track this. He said it's a good track. Maestro Fresh West. Maestro Fresh West. The godfather of Canadian hip-hop said it's a good track. What do you think about that? He's a black Canadian. Did he feel disrespected? Ask some more of the hip-hop artists in the hip hop community, how they feel about that. If it was directed just at the black people of Canada. I put money on it, they will say no. I put money on it, they will say no. It's not directed just at the black community. It's directed at whoever. They're playing it everywhere. Everywhere. You think that pop out show was just for Drake? Drake was just used for the campaign. That's it. And there's a, a couple emotional people who cannot take it that Kendrick Lamar has knocked Drake off of the billboards or off the attention lap for a while. Because Drake will come back. They cannot take it that he not a couple. He just, he just, he's taking it over. Listen, Drake has been around over 10 years at the top. Let's, 
Be honest at the top. When you're at the top, when you're at the top, you're gonna get criticized. But to say that the not like us track was directed at black Canadians, and he's claiming basically, or that's what they say, that Drake's not even really black, and he should not be saying the N word. So if all of this is coming out that he shouldn't say the N word and people are saying he's not really black or he doesn't connect with the black culture, where does it say that they hate black Canadians or the track was for black Canadians? It was directed at Drake, the colonizer, saying he's a colonizer. Remember, Drake came from Canada went to America and blew up and came back. That's why he put that in the track, Colonizer. Certified Lover Boy, that's one of the album name Drake came out with not too long ago. Certified Pedophile, things he saw in the media based off of young individual girls, I guess coming on the stage and they got camera footage of that and they can't let that go, right? Sorry. But where does this whole thing about the black community come into? People, you're reaching. You're reaching a lot. <sighs> Don't know what else to say. Don't know what else to say, but man, You probably, like I said, are gonna see this story circulating around the internet for a while. It takes a while. It's been out there, Dr. Umar, been talking about it. Maybe academics might have posted, I might have seen it on other platforms. Let's see if this blows up like that. Someone, like I said, who interviewed him is basically saying, trying to speak for all of us. No, you don't speak for all of us. I don't speak for all of us, but you don't speak for me. I did not feel offended by the not like us. And I know my brothers from D2E family feel the same way. We do not feel offended from the not like us. It, it, it's nothing about us. It's talking about Drake. And if you feel offended, from that not like us, and you, what are you, a pedophile? Are you? Are you a pedophile? Even though there's no proof of that with Drake, but are you? He's, he's talking about a whole bunch of things. Are you that? If you're not, you should not worry about this. People, subscribe to the channel listen to the podcast i got other episodes talking about similar stuff my whole so-called if you want to say beef is that they you they got dr umar who has a big platform instead of talking about real issues you're talking about a beef industry beef you're talking about that and it's just going to create separation i know you wanted to hear his opinion but you brought more than that you're saying that he's talking about black people and that american black people think that that song is referencing the dissing black people in Canada. Some Americans don't even think black people exist in Canada. Some think it's just white people. Come on now. Come on now. I don't know what else to say. But Toronto, a lot of you straight up are dick riders. The only reason you're riding Drake's uh, bandwagon and is in hopes that he gives you some spotlight.
And like I mentioned, he has not got interviewed by any person who's in the urban culture in Toronto. He's never been interviewed by somebody like me or anybody. Because he, I, I feel he's scared of certain questions people are going to ask him. A lot of the stuff that Kendrick brought out, he's scared of somebody like me bringing up certain questions. He, like, he would rather somebody who's a kiss ass, who's not going to ask certain questions about him. Right? You could see it on his profile, go on his Instagram, see if you could comment. And I guarantee you cannot comment your opinions. This is to show you, right? So, Dr. Omar Johnson, you need to come down to earth, right? Speak with the realness, not know people who have some fantasies and just want to make more beef. Because this what they gave you is just going to make beef between the Canadian blacks and the American blacks. Let me tell you something. American brothers and sisters are great. They gave our platform the most support. The most support we get from our American brothers and sisters compared to people from our own city. You hear that? So, about them not liking us, I don't know about that. A lot of Americans like us, they respect us, always got respect from Americans compared to our own people who act like the shit don't stink. I've interviewed people who have, a, if you want to count it by numbers, a lot more followers and they're in America doing tours and doing all types of stuff. And there's people from here who are not even on that level. And they won't give you a time of day. So, you're right. Not like us. Toronto people, you ain't like, or in hip-hop, Toronto community, you not like them in America. Because you don't support your own. Yeah, you're not like them. He's right to, if it is directed to Toronto or whatever. But it's directed to everybody. But if you want to put it that way, yeah, not like them. You don't, you're not united. You're not united. You don't support each other. You hate on each other for the bullshit. Um, in the, the blog pages, all that's promoted is beefs more than any progression. That's what, what's going on. So you're right. You're not like them. Not like us. Not like us. No one is coming together in the city to build the infrastructure. We always talk about this. You see it in the media, the, 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 the podcast, for example. People, they, they're just scared of competition. People rather make beef than make peace. So you're right. We are not like them. I could say that. You could hate me all you want. We are not like them. We are individual selves down to earth, right? Me and my brother, but you're right. We are not like them. We got a lot to do. We got to grow up before we get on their level, okay? We got to grow up before we could get on their level because we're not on their level. So they could say, not like us, especially if they came here before and see what's going on. Our infrastructure for hip hop is, where is it? Where is it? They can say whatever they want to say. We're not organized. It takes someone who's organized to come here to educate us about ourselves. And then all you guys could do is tell him, Dr. Umar, that Oh, how the not like us is based on black Canadians. It's based on black Canadians. What kind of fuckery is that? Sorry for the cursing. What are you guys trying to do? Because it's not working. The only thing that's going to be working is more beef. 
people going back and forth. I've seen it before with this whole hip hop, who created hip hop, the, the drama was going on. I've seen it before. And it, this just makes it even more worse. Someone like Lord Jamar and other people will just use this to criticize us. You see what I'm saying? So people, please subscribe to the channel. My name is Sean Myrie, your host of the Down to Earth podcast. Bless up.